In 2011, China was selected by the Association of International Horticultural Producers to host the 2019 Exposition. It was to be the biggest exhibition of its kind ever held to date. Of the five main pavilions that were to adorn the exposition grounds, one of the most important was the Botanic Gardens, a 15 meter high structure. The design of this building called for monumental animal sculptures to be placed on the roof deck. The sculptures had to be at least 10 meters high so that they could be seen not only from the inside, but also from the outside of the Botanic Gardens. They had to be structurally sound and had to withstand some of the harshest environmental elements in the world. You're talking about hurricane strength winds, freezing temperatures, earthquakes and intense heat and most importantly had to support the Botanic Gardens theme of the wisdom of plants. I propose making a family of giraffes. Giraffes are some of the world's tallest herbivores and have a really strong connect to plants. I saw my giraffe being formed from four trees growing out of the ground with their branches entwining and curling and expanding to form the body and the neck of the giraffe. The structure of the sculpture is made from marine grade stainless steel. Wherever possible, I use Second Life materials and a, a lot of my metal comes from the ship breaking yards. The wood I collect and use is arguably the best in the world for withstanding the elements. It's decades dead, if not centuries dead wood. And I've collected over 10 tons of wood for the giraffe project. One of the toughest things about making a monumental different sculpture is to communicate your concept to a larger group of people. It's not just about me working in solitary confinement with my own fears and vision. It's 20 or more artisans that play a key role in the creation of the sculpture. And a lot of my effort has to go into communicating my vision and also teaching my process and most importantly, inspiring the group. One of the most worrying aspects of the project was the maximum weight load beyond which the engineers would just not allow the sculpture to be erected. With an unconventional structure of this type, instinct pushes you to over-engineer. Over-engineering is an acceptable way of ensuring structural integrity, but you pay for it with the extra weight. And this is one currency I just did not have. I spent a load of time designing a structure that would not just be strong enough to withstand the environmental pressures, but would also fall within the 12 ton maximum weight restriction. Time was running out and there was no way I could complete the tree if I made it from the bottom up because only three to four welders could work on it at the same time. I thought long and hard about it and I decided to make the tree horizontally in a circular cage so that ten of us could weld simultaneously. And this also allowed me to roll the tree easily so I could work on whatever different side I needed to. It took four containers to move the installation from Cebu to China and I needed two more months to make specially designed docking frames to lift and maneuver the sculpture through the mouth of the container doors. I travelled to Beijing to install my giraffes early March. Two days, 20 guys and a crane lifted the 12 tons of sculpture up to the roof deck. I have my own personal communicator translate my directions and I also remembered to bring with me loads of dried mangoes which my merry band of assistants really appreciated. 
The day after installation, dignitaries, company chiefs and architects gathered at the foot of the giraffes to inspect my work. As far as I know, it's the largest driftwood animal sculpture ever made to date and definitely my first monumental installation in China. It's immediately visible from the moment you enter the exposition grounds which are immense and it's been voted the most Instagrammable site of the Beijing Expo 2019.